Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill and yet again we are outside the Monroeville Exchange to sell some stuff and to get some good action figures and we got a huge box of resale for them too. Look forward to seeing what I find on the inside. And from the Monroeville Exchange in Monroeville, I did go up to Big Lots in Monroeville. They didn't have that He-Man Masters of the Universe they had last time it was in there. I should have picked him up when I saw him, but I regretted it. Oh, maybe some day down the line, I'm actually going to order it offline. But for now, this is my toy haul I got today. We got some brand new stuff. Got a couple things I got for fuel perks at my local Giant Eagle. I won't be reviewing these Pez dispensers. But we did get some vintage stuff back here at the house. We got a... Transformers Cybertron 2005. Dirt Boss. We got a original Teen Titans Cyborg. I love some Teen Titans here. I got a little thirsty, so yeah. We got some Power Rangers Lightspeed figures. I got a Pink Ranger and a Green Ranger. The Pink Ranger is a Mickey D's Toys, and we got a Star Wars Episode 1 figure, another one I didn't have. So I am trying to track down more of these. I have not, I don't know this guy by heart, but if any of you know, then please leave me a comment. It's a, and we got Teen Titans from the mid-2000s, it's Cyborg. It looks like he would have grabbed on this stuff and his hands doesn't move, but his legs bend. That's why I picked him up. He's pretty cool. Head can move, and the paint and sculpting are still great on him after all these years. I do want to track down a Teen Titans series uh, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, Terra, and the other figures. But yeah, that's most of my stuff. But here I got a Transformers Cybertron 2005 Dirt Boss with the cyber key it's rare that these things come with cyber keys this is my second cyber key for this type of figure so i got some more cyber key power yeah and the power rangers light speed green rangers got bend at the knees arms do move head does move no ball joint on them real letdown but otherwise a good looking figure for some 90s Power Rangers action. I love Power Rangers. I will review those with the random figures. More, I'll be picking up more random figures when I go next month. Two, it will be the North for Sales Flea Market. And, of course, the Lincoln Way Hub Antique Mall. We got a Funko Soda of... Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop. But we can't take her out of the box. Look at that. Oh, we will be reviewing her this week. And she comes with this coin. Oh, man, that's just so cute. I'm definitely keeping Faye Valentine in her can in my collection. This is just so fun. So this will be reviewed next week. And we got these Marvel... Pez Dispensers, Miles Morales, and Ghost Spider. I won't be reviewing these, but I do collect some Pez Dispensers, so I look forward to adding them to my Pez collection. Last but not least, we got this figure that is a collector's item, but it is from an anime series I was hesitant on, and they never made actual figures. I know people just keep these as collectors, but I'm going to be reviewing this, and then I'll probably put it back in the box when I'm done. Because, man, I love this figure, and I love the artwork on the box. So I will be reviewing this, and then putting it back in the box on the shelf. But this is a vintage figure. I cannot wait to review this anime figure from a mecha anime. And I look forward to reviewing this and putting it on my shelf. So that'll be reviewed when I get the series in the mail, which I did just order. 
So I'll have to watch a few episodes before I review this. And as you know, this week I'll be going to Kennywood on my birthday. So I'm turning 31 here on the channel. So happy 31 birthday to me. And if you guys want to leave me a comment saying, Eddie Hill, happy birthday, I would appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome for all your support, and I appreciate it. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.